ba 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 dogs are thinking. Maybe they think they're the masters and we're the pets. Like when you're playing fetch and you throw a stick. Oh! Is your dog going sheesh over and over and over again? This game is really boring. Or when you take your dog for a walk, maybe the dog is thinking, come on, hurry up, just find a fire hydrant and get it over with. I want to go home. And when you go to brush your dog, it might be saying to itself, you think I need a brush? Look at yourself in the mirror. Well, there's no need to worry about a thing. We're smarter than dogs. I mean, do you look at a toilet and think, hmm, water fountain? <laughs> by four boys. Four? I bet my invitation is on its way. Tubby's always late. You girls better do what you can't get invited soon. The dance is this afternoon. What? <clears throat> we didn't get one invitation, and Gloria got four. I'm going to Tubby's to see what's up with my invitation. And we'll go see what's taking the other boys so long, too. Let's see. Dearest? Oh, that's too much. Hmm. My little swallow. Oh, how do I do this? My little swallow is pretty good. Oh, I might as well forget it. Oh, no, you don't. Ah! Hiya, Tubby. What you doing? Lulu, I'm, uh, I'm trying to write a letter. Why don't you just tell the person what you want to say? No, I can't. I mean, a letter is easier, but it's not that easy to write. I can help you. Um, um, all right. How do you spell dear? That's easy. D-E-A-R. Great. How do you spell Gloria? G-L-O... Hey! Why, you... Okay, Lulu? Only on the outside, Tubby. Willie's taking Gloria to the dance. And so is Eddie. Daddy do da 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 yeah. Isn't it the perfect day for a dance? Yes, and... And I'm so lucky going to the dance with Gloria. I can't wait to see the other fellas' faces when I walk in with her on my arm. Yeah! -ha! Iggy's sure gonna be surprised when he has to share Gloria with Willie and Eddie. And Tubby. I guess that means all the boys are taking Gloria to the dance. No, there's one boy left. Alvin. You come back here with my tulips! Hi, Alvin. Are those flowers for someone? Someone you're taking to the dance? Yup, Gloria. Huh? Ain't I lucky? Whoops, gotta run. <gasps> Yo! Then that's it. There's no one left to take us to the dance. All those boys are really silly to be going with Gloria. 
Dang nabbit! <laughs> hey, you girls, can you watch my monkeys while I go to a garage? Okay! That sounds like more fun than not going to a dance. If they get kind of active, give them some peanuts. But you shouldn't have trouble. They ain't none too smart. And don't go sticking your fingers in there or nothing either. They can hurt you and they wouldn't even know they was doing it. We've got a lot of experience with people like that. Thanks. <laughs> oh, Girls, I guess you're not going to the dance after all, since all the boys invited me. I'll let you know which boy's the best dancer. <laughs> I hope they all step on her toes. Huh? <laughs> Taking Gloria. She's my date. No, she's mine. I'm my taking girls. Gloria. What's the matter? They're fighting over me. But where are the other girls? <gasps> <gasps> Monkeys. Hey, me. Stop that. That's not for you. Stop it. Get your fingers out of there. Gloria asked me to ask her. Hey, me too. Hey, me too. What's going on? Gloria asked me to ask her. What's the big idea, Gloria? Getting all us boys to ask you to the dance. So that's how you did it, huh? Here, have a peanut, Gloria. <laughs> Selfish. First she wants all the boys for herself. <laughs> now she wants all the monkeys. <laughs> Here's what my friends want to be when they grow up. Tubby wants to be a fire eater. Annie wants to be a trapeze artist. Eddie wants to be a juggler. And Iggy wants to lift the bearded lady and Jojo the dog-faced boy with one hand. And me? I don't need to think about what I'm going to be when I grow up. I'm gonna be the ringmaster. <laughs> Grandma gave me this present in a huge box. Some people say the best presents come in small boxes. Well, I say those people are cheap. Everyone knows the bigger the box, the better. Usually, but not this time. This big box was filled with Grandma's false teeth collection that she's so kindly passing down to me. I guess you can be cheap with big boxes, too. told me not to eat in bed. I'll just shake the crumbs out the window. Then I'll get a good night's sleep and the birds can have breakfast. Uh-oh. Oh, no. I'm never gonna get to sleep. Oh, it's cold. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. What's that? gonna get in now. If I wake Mom and Dad, they'll be awful mad at me. I know. The Tompkins have a key to our house. I'll just get Tubby to give it to me. <laughs> Call the cops! Fast! It's pretty lucky 
I dropped this sheet out of the window. At least I have it to keep me warm. Calling Officer McNabb. Suspicious noises reported at Moppet residence. Ghost spotted in the area. Oh, right. I bet Lulu's dreaming again. <laughs> Ghost. Where'd it go? Oh, it's gonna be one of those nights again. Now, what will wake up Tubby and only Tubby? An ice cream wagon. <clears throat> Tubby! Oh, vanilla, please. Tubby, wake up! Ah! Ghost! 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 Slay it! You wake the entire night! Making a racket. Uh, what? Mama! Ghost! Mama! Ghost! And the front door slammed shut, and we saw something white floating down the sidewalk. That way? I gotta tell you, if I didn't see it with my own eyes, I'd lock you up for the night. Officer McNabb, ruckus and mysterious ghost sighting reported at Tompkins' residence. We're locked out. We can go with you to the Tompkins. They have a spare key to our house. What on earth are you doing outside, Tubby? There was an ice cream truck, and all I did was ask for vanilla, and then a ghost scared me, and all these people started yelling, and I was asleep the whole time, and I don't know if I'm ever gonna go to sleep again. Good thing I slipped in when no one was looking. Oh, great. Now what? Marge, what are you doing here? We're locked out, Jim. And they're always at me to make sure I have my key. You go back to sleep, Tubby. Okay, Mom. Now, what exactly is going on here? They keep making yeah, noise. Yeah, I gotta get out of here. Who? Shh, you gotta help me, Tubby. I got locked out of our house. What is it with you and your parents? Don't you have no keys? I need the key your parents have. But that's why your parents are here. Come on, I'll get that key for you now. <gasps> if they see me here, I'll be in big trouble. Well, what do we do? I know. Huh? We're locked out. Tubby, open this door. Not again. Gosh, Lulu, why'd you do that? Just get me that key and I'll explain. Oh, what a night. Tubby, what took you so long? Didn't you hear us banging on the door? No, but I sure did. Yeah, yeah, you so bet I did, too. Tell you I what Lulu phoned. She said she woke up and couldn't find her parents. I told her they were locked out, so she's opened the door and is waiting for you. I'll give you folks a lift home. Sorry for the trouble, Jim. That's okay, George. Good night! Mighty night! What a night! If you think about it, it's pretty silly that everyone got locked out. You're so right, Officer McNabb. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty silly. Indeed. Most superstitions are silly, and I don't think they make very much sense. Like, don't walk under a ladder. That doesn't make sense. Unless my dad's up there painting. <laughs> drop a spoon, visit her soon. Doesn't make any sense. Now, drop mom's good china and go to bed soon. That makes a whole lot of sense. Don't get out on the left side of the bed makes a little sense, but only in my room, because that's where the window is. 
And a ringing in your ears doesn't mean someone's talking about you. It means they're talking to you and they're too close. <laughs> you know what I think? Superstitions should be called something else. Like stupid stitions. <laughs> What do you mean, big deal? Have you guys ever been kissed by a girl? Thanks, Grandma. Well, I can get a girl to kiss me. Oh, yeah? Who? Well, there's... I mean... If I could get... Lulu? I bet I can get Lulu to kiss me. If you can get Lulu to kiss you, Tubby, I'll give you six ice cream cones. <laughs> what he doesn't know is I've got a plan. <laughs> oh, yuck! Tubby, get out of there! Ah, don't be angry, my gentle little peach pit. Gentle nothing? What makes you think you can kiss me without asking? Cause I'm gonna give you an ice cream cone. You better, and before dinner. Be on the lookout, Lulu. Tubby's going around kissing girls. Ha! We'll show him if he tries to kiss us. You'd better leave me out of it. He already kissed me. <laughs> Could you please mail this for me? I don't want to break a nail. Thank you. You run along, son. And no more kissing telegrams. Yes, sir, Officer McNabb. <laughs> Flying squirrels before, but I've never heard of kissing squirrels. Hey, that was no kissing squirrel. That was a kissing tubby. Don't be angry, my little crewing pups. If you want to kiss us, you have to be nice and ask first. I'll buy you each an ice cream cone. You better. Watch out for Tubby. He's going around kissing all the girls. He'll be sorry if he tries to kiss me. Just let him try to get in here. Well, I've waited long enough. Take that, Tubby! Ah, oh, Dad! What are you doing crawling through the window? Uh, the door was locked. It's unlocked now. Bye, Dad. Huh? Did you know Tubby's going around kissing all the girls, Lulu? He kissed you too? It was either Tubby or a very fresh garbage can. 
Oh boy, here he comes. It's he in for a surprise. Hiya, Lulu. Ah, uh, he didn't even try to kiss me. He kissed every girl in the neighborhood except me. What if everybody finds out? Well, I'm not gonna let Tubby get away with not kissing me. Hiya, Tubby. Do you have a license to operate a kissing booth, young lady? <laughs> hey, Tubby. Did Lulu kiss you yet? Not yet, Wilbur, but she will. And here she comes now. Hold it, Tubby Tompkins! You're getting a kiss! Good grief! You did it! You got Lulu to kiss you! Ha! Wilbur owes you six ice cream cones! Oh, really? A bet, a bet. Here are your ice cream cones, Tubby. Here, Lulu. One for you, too. Good. You owe me for that kiss. That leaves one left for... I hear you're giving ice cream cones to everyone you kiss, Tubby. Well, <laughs> lucky me. Scientists say that in outer space there are places called black holes. That's where stuff gets pulled in and never leaves. Kind of like Tubby going into a candy store. Well, someone should tell these scientists not to look so far from home. We've got black holes right here on Earth, like in our dryer. Two socks go in, one comes out. So now I've got tons of socks, but no pairs. Now that I think about it, <laughs> having your own black hole would be great. I'd put my broccoli in there and my homework and... Hey, maybe even Gloria. Oh! <laughs> 